so just just as 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 a predicate to what Miss Brown is going to tell you, um, if you look at the orders, Judge, on oh, November, no, no, just give us a, uh, Mr. Garcia, just give us a moment. We're going to go on the record, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. All right, and Ernest Mora, come forward, please. All right, the court is going to call 2023 CR 9524 State of Texas versus Ernest Mora. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Garahan, Your Honor. Defense. Eddie Garcia. Um, thank you. And are you Mr. Mora? Yes. All right, we are here on a violation report. And it's saying that he did not report for the installation of SCRAM and that he's pending his monthly calibration for the ignition interlock. Have both parties had a chance to review the violation report, State? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes, Judge. All right. Defense, you wanted to address the violation report? I do, Your Honor. Um, uh, and it's confusing to me. That's why I asked Ms. Brown to be here this morning. But um, just to just to lay the groundwork, if you look at what I asked Norma to provide this morning uh, for your review, Judge, there are two orders uh, that were signed on November 30th of 2023. One was signed by you uh, when Mr. Moore was in court, uh, where you scratched through the requirement of SCRAM uh, because he was already on interlock. Yes. But the same day, at or about the same time, uh, I, Judge Moore must have received the violation report. Uh, also, and either before you uh, scratch through the requirement to scram, Judge Moore uh, not only uh, increased the bond, but uh, he also uh, ordered that the scram device uh, be placed on, on Mr. Moore. So consequently, uh, when Mr. Moore showed up to court on January 29th, he was taken into custody. I don't know if you recall that we did a, a satellite bond and he was trying yes. to explain. He was trying to explain what had happened, and I was not aware at the time. And the time was so short that I couldn't look into it at the time. But it looks like um, the, the, the the two orders are at odds. And and the reason that this violation report keeps coming up is because uh, Mr. Mo Ms. Mo uh, Brown can address this. Is because pretrial service still services still sees this as an active order uh, that was not complied with. Uh, All right. So this is what we're going uh, to. Understand. Counsel, this is what we're going to do. All right, because I do see from the docket sheet that I recall the warrant because there were issues. And what this means now is whenever an artery is signed for the violation report, I'm not only going to put a date on it, I'm going to put a time so that way everybody will know. So here's the question. Does he want to be on scram or does he want to be on ignition or interlock? I will only have him on one. I believe interlock judge because it's less expensive. Is that right, Mr. Morrow? Well, I mean, I already have it as we speak. So it, it, it'd be a lot more easier for me rather than to take it off and then to get something else. Like I said, I'm, I'm already. All right. And so for I think we just lost Eddie. Yes, we lost the, the connection uh, for just a bit. All right, so your client is saying that he wishes to remain on ignition interlock. Is ignition interlock the cheaper device, Officer Brown? Yes, Judge. All right, so what I'm going to do is today, February 8th, I'm removing the condition for SCRAM. He will be on ignition interlock. All right, everybody just staring at me and not responding. I just want to make sure that he doesn't have a warrant or anything yes. else, because I saw there was a bond increase by Ju uh, Judge Moore. I just wanted to make sure that was clarified that on the record. Or Well, sorry. with regards to the Jason. bond increase on the January 29th, he signed this on November 30th. On January 29th, I asked that his order be recalled. Okay. So he should not have an increase. No, unfortunately, Judge, because of the conflict, he was he was he had to make bond again, even though Really, he shouldn't have had to because um, so he doesn't have a bond issue now, though, correct? No, he does not have a bond issue now. He, he made that $10,000 bond on the 29th when he went to court. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order the removal of SCRAM. He will remain on ignition interlock. 
Is there any other issues that I need to know about? No, no, no. All right. So, Mr. Moore, are you employed? All right. What are your work hours? I go in at about 2.30 in the morning and I normally get out about 9.30. All right. Are you able to use Zoom? Um, I would no, imagine. I mean, it's for you. If you're able to use Zoom. I don't know what it is, but I, I can imagine I could. Okay. So if uh, Eddie, if he's able to use Zoom instead of, yes, you know, being off from work or whatever, he's more than welcome to use Zoom for his court appearance. And I'll write that on the docket sheet. Thank you, Ron. Are, are you uh, referring to future court appearances? Yes, because he's set to appear in court. Next date is uh, February 26th, and it's for discovery matters. So you can appear by Zoom for that date. Right. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah. Thank you, mm -hmm. Judge. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you so much. So okay, I'm going to write... Defendant, I'm going to write that you can appear by Zoom. And remove scram requirement or condition. And uh, he's to remain on ignition interlock. And I'm going to sign this and put the time on it, which is 9.32 a.m. OK. Is there anything else? Uh, Officer Brown, thank you so much for zooming in. Is there anything else that he needs from you? Um, no, Judge. He just needs to make sure he calibrates before his lockout for his inner lock. All right. Make sure you calibrate, okay? All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you for taking time, Your Honor. No problem. Have a great day. Okay. of this okay. for her. So All right, so Mr. Trevino, your counsel has filed a motion to withdraw as your attorney. And there's, and counsel, you're saying there's a breakdown in communication? Yes, Your Honor. All right, is this breakdown, you're giving him advice and he doesn't want to follow it? He has three misdemeanors as well. He's Judge Menace uh, withdrew me on those cases. And, uh, you know, I mean, when he tells me I'm dismissed, then I don't think we can. All right. So the here's motion. the thing. Uh, you are in felony court. Today is your plea deadline date. As a defendant, people think their rights are oh, I get to decide how this case is going to be tried. I get to decide strategy. I get to decide this and that. No, you do not. The only thing that you get to decide as someone who's accused of a crime is whether or not you're going to testify, whether or not you're going to accept a plea, whether or not you're going to the judge or jury for punishment, whether or not, um, as I previously stated, you're going to remain silent, which means you're not going to testify. You don't get to decide how the motions your uh, attorney file, you don't get to decide how your attorney files your case. Do you understand? Or tries your case, do you understand? So what I need to know from you, have you received an offer from the state? No. All right, so go back. Yes. All right, if you'll, re received an offer. If you'll retell them what the offer is, counsel, and then you need to let me know whether or not you're accepting that offer or not. Accepting any. All right, so you want a jury trial? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I'll hear your motion to withdraw, counsel. Court is calling 2023 CR 4277, State of Texas versus Christopher Martin Trevino. Can I have parties announced for the record for the state? Hank Wilkins for the state, Your Honor. Defense? Stephen Harkowitz. All right. And are you Mr. Trevino? No. All right. Counsel, you filed a motion to withdraw. What is your reason for the motion to withdraw? Um, there's been a breakdown in uh, the ability to communicate with Mr. Trevino to the point where, um, for example, yesterday I, I sent him some reminders. He didn't respond to them. 
uh, when we were in misdemeanor court a few weeks ago, he told me I was dismissed. Uh, so, and I don't believe that uh, we're going to be able to repair the attorney-client relationship to the point that I can effectively continue to represent Mr. Trevino. So I'm asking the court to withdraw me as his attorney and uh, appoint him an attorney that perhaps he can uh, have a better relationship with. All right. Are you going to hire an attorney? Because that's what you'll need to do. All right. Motion to withdraw is denied. I'm going to recall this for next week. You need to have an attorney hired. Do you understand? All right. We are going to recall this. Uh, Norma, can you recall this for February 15th? All right, you need to have an attorney at that time. This Do you understand? Is for the deadline. Hmm? This is for the deadline still going. On February 15th, you will either have hired or retained an attorney, and that attorney will come in here on February 15th, or either this will be your attorney. Do you understand? But I'm saying that you will do the jury trial, yeah. Or we're going to wait till that attorney's Oh, strategy. do you want to go to the jury trial with this attorney? Because oh, we can arrange oh, for a jury for trial us. today. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ms. Ferguson, they're going to come back on the 15th. And Mr. Trevino, and we're off the record, Mr. Trevino, if you do not communicate with your attorney, guess what? I do communicate. Nope, listen to me. If you do not communicate with your attorney and communicate with your attorney respectfully, guess what's going to end up happening? You're going to go to jury trial with an attorney that you have not communicated with respectfully and you have not talked to. Do you understand? What All right. What if it's the other way around, though, Judge? Hmm? What if it's the other way around? What if I'm the one trying to communicate? And I'm oh. not getting a response. Oh, well, here we go. He's here right now. You're here. You all can talk. talk. Outside, he didn't want to <laughs> Here's the thing. You're here right now. He's here. I'm sure he will speak to you. So just have a seat and he will speak with you. Okay. 